that kind of problem happening when you're talking about like a job cost system and then we'll we'll record the adjusting entry now you can imagine this as well you can say well what won't that completely mess things up because the invoice has already been put in place in march and if you enter an adjusting entry which basically records it again as of the cutoff date as of the end of february in our case by the time march gets here it will have been entered two times and that's true so we're going to have to also do a reversing entry so that that does not happen so we on the adjusting side are going to say i'm going to do an adjusting entry to make the financial statements correct income proper as of the cutoff date in accordance with the accrual basis this invoice should be included in there and then i've got to make sure that i do a reversing entry and line it up so the bookkeeper doesn't have to make any adjustments now you also might say well why don't i just take the invoice and like the quickbooks system for example and just adjust the date and just redate it back before the cutoff you could possibly do that right you could you but you don't really again want to mess up the accounting system for the accounting department they're they're doing a system that works for them on a job cost system or whatever they're using they're basically if they're if they're billing every week or so and they have a set date on which they do the billing you don't want to just go in there and say i'm just going to adjust the due date back back a day you right you don't usually want to change it what we want to do is then do another entry and then show the audit trail as to why we are doing it and that's going to be the adjusting entry okay so in essence this is going to come down to just basically doing a, a entry that will be mirroring an invoice so we're going to go back to the practice tab and notice if you were doing this in accounting software although it is mirroring an invoice 